I've changed my binds yet again. And now I'm playing on keyboard, mouse, and joystick. That's right, and you're probably wondering, what the heck are you talking about? Or maybe you already know, but you basically put this little joystick below your keyboard, and then you can put your thumb here, reach the keys up here, and you use this to move. I have been on the search for the mystical treasure of the perfect binds. I have searched high and low. And the goal, right, is always to free up your movement buttons in Fortnite. You want to be free flowing. And I'm like, okay, but then I also want my weapons to be free flowing, right? Like I want to be able to pull up my shotgun and my AR and move however I want. And then I, I'm like, okay, but if we do that, we have to overload our thumb, pinky, or our mouse. And that all poses problems because now it's awkward, right? Like you're kind of slow. If your thumb is trying to run the show, you're not as, you're not as quick. You just can't be as quick with a one man show. That's why you delegate. You understand? Then I'm like, why am I going through the trouble of having perfect movement and then i'm still limited by my keyboard by by no analog movement so i'm sitting there and i'm like what have i done i have on the quest for for good movement i have ignored the good movement which is the analog stick the controller now let me take you through the journey of how i've gotten to this setup okay so mainly you've got two options right two options of who you want to go for go for um when it comes to joysticks in the Fortnite community, okay? There's two different ones. You've got, you have Mac Stick, that's the one I just showed you, and you've got Gaming Mod Kits. These are the two choices you have. Neither one sponsored me, just for the record. I bought both of them. However, however, Gaming Mod Kits did give me this little brain keycap, so I like that. That being said, I'm not using this one currently. I'm using this one. This one has some, some juice, you know? It, ha it has this... The software here and then you can lock your fortnite angles and i did that and i will tell you right now i don't know what it is about this one but it hasn't felt the same ever since i started using this i tried the gaming mod kits one the software here for me was really good not to say that it didn't have its issues you know both of these joysticks let me tell you if you're thinking about switching it's not just a walk in the park right everyone everyone you know it's like oh come get your 360 movement come get your 360 movement right here selling right here right you know hot off the press come get your 360 movement but then you you take a bite in ah you burn your tongue you know now now you need to get your tongue fixed and your tongue fix would be your thumb this stuff i mean it, it's a new muscle it's definitely i i, I don't care what your thumb's been doing you're gonna need to be ready because my, my thumbs even still i'm a little worried about them but also if you use a razor huntsman another popular mouse that or mouse keyboard that keyboard shows up as an analog controller and you can't disable it heads up so if you're thinking about using a joystick and you have that keyboard you might want to get a different keyboard um there's probably workarounds but i still have my hair so i'm not going to stress over it anymore i tried i really did i went into it went deep into it um i gave up what else can i what else can i say for you so the beauty of of this joystick is that you save your fingers for everything else building wise pulling out weapons and you get controller movement it's it's honestly the best of both worlds i'm very happy that i swapped i'm only about a week deep into this swap but i feel like i've improved very very greatly um especially i think once i stop worrying about if my wrist or thumb hurts uh i'll be insane and that's the thing is do does everyone else that play on these do you guys your arms don't hurt your wrists don't hurt I feel like every other day I'm, I'm working through like maybe I maybe you're just old Tom maybe you're old and that's why everything hurts it could be I don't know the max stick does come with these little gel pads but like that's not doing it for me dude you know what I'm saying it's not that's not enough I need way more gel this isn't sponsored by the way this is I'm just giving you an update for how I'm playing so let's let's bring you in here let me let me let me give you a look at, at how I'm playing also I didn't I accidentally hit my keyboard went full cam the GMK, I will say, like, it comes with... The, these are the difference, okay? So I'll show you both. I am now using, by the way, the GMK keycap here. Uh, I took it off of the original mod here. And I put it on my escape cap because it's so sick. I mean, shout out Gaming Mod Kids for that. They included that in... Dude, like, that... Come on, the little brain. Anyway, so this is the setup here. That I'm using. You rest your hand here. I put my fingers on Shift Z X C. So this is jump. Jumps right here. Okay, my pinky. Controls crouch. Uh, Z is my floor. That's sprint. 
right? So sprint, uh, shotgun's my X, S is my swap weapon, that's my other swap weapon's alt, um, X is, oh no, C, sorry, is cone, V is edit, spacebar is my inventory, um, F is reload, mm, D is pickaxe, D is my last inventory slot, caps locks is inventory slot, sorry, caps locks is inventory slot, I'm like missing the screen, B is, uh, my la one of my inventory slots. And yeah, so that, that's the setup here. Um, in hindsight, um, if I were you, I would not put, uh, I would put edit on C. And then like maybe like, I put cone on X, I throw my shotgun on V, right? Because then uh, you have everything on demand, right? Edit, cone, floor, and then my mouse buttons are my other builds. Now, what GMK does is they will include a little pad here, it seems, or you can purchase one that makes it look like the Azeron. Now, that looks pretty ergonomic, and I will admit, it feels amazing, right? It feels really good to rest your, your wrist on this, right? However, I've noticed my, my thumb, right? They have a keycap, I don't know if you can see here, but I've noticed, right, if I lean my thumb over, right, like I'm moving, I'll sometimes, like, touch it, and it kind of bothers me, so I took this keycap off, personally, and then I had no problems. So I will say, this, this little... You know, thing it's pretty comfy, and this honestly might alleviate a lot of uh, your hand pain if you choose to go with gaming mod kits. Um, I think like maybe if you're a nerd like me, you know, and you're trying to get the the best Fortnite movement, I think Max X Utility um, and a gel pad off Amazon. That's a uh, the Loft Mat brand, not sponsored again. Um, it's pretty good. I I be I be swinging that thing, you know. I I be I be swinging that. So yeah, be careful. Yeah, make sure you sub so I can get a new mouse pad so that next time I make a video, you don't have to see something. I don't even know what that is, dude. I hope that explains things as far as the joystick goes. Uh, but I do believe the swap's worth it. I think it's it's pretty wicked. I think it's 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 pretty obvious how uh, movement matters in Fortnite. Just for staying alive, for being able to tunnel effectively, fight effectively, take good peaks. And it's a fun way to play. Uh, and if you can't play for eight hours a day, do I recommend to swap to it? Yeah, I would actually say swap it to it's not a bad idea. Just because, like, playing for eight hours in a row with the joystick, it can be tiresome on the thumb right away. So it's good that you, you don't play, you know, a bunch at, at, in the beginning. Um, hopefully in a month from now, I'm not making an update video and being like, guys, the joystick's awesome, but I need thumb surgery. Because let me tell you, it, it's a workout. Like, I got the heat cranked in here every time I play now. Every time I play now, I'm like Shrek, because this this chair's a swamp, baby. No, nah, it's too too much information. It's not a swamp. So this is the current uh, keyboard and joystick setup I'm using. Um, I have the GMK X72, which is a custom printed uh, joystick from GMK, uh, AKA the Martos joystick. But now we got the 72 joystick, guys. Um, I didn't like the angle. So we work together and uh, basically have this lip here that holds underneath so that when you're pressuring it, you know, it sticks underneath the keyboard. Uh, and then I also have these command strips. They're, they're literally just Velcro command strips um, that sit underneath this pad here. And that lets me rest my hand here. And it's slightly elevated, the curve up here, so it feels better on the wrist. And then I also have the custom uh, case here for the Wu-Ting. And the reason for that is because usually the Wu-Ting has this little lip here and here you can see the lip of this Wooting. So like uh, over here, I can show you my Amazon keyboard that I use for my stream PC. See, there's no lip here. So like it can sit closer. So like that's why the custom case is good. But then here, this lip, like why did Wooting do this? Like look at my branding. My branding's amazing. Such amazing branding. Such, such, such good branding, Wooting. Thank you very much. Underneath the keyboard that pushes this away, which lets, you know, your hand has to be further away. So you're stretching up farther, um, which can strain your hand. So then I left my, rest my hand like so. On the keyboard, I use shift to jump. Um, I also have tried Mac stick. I like the Mac sticks as well. Both are nice. However, uh, since GMK was nice enough to custom make me this one, I've been using the GMK joystick. Um, they have some nice software as well, as does the Mac stick. So both have their, their different um, softwares basically that lets you tweak the forward direction. Right here, like I have a 40 degrees change on the input. So like, if I'm going forward, right? So like, this is forward for me. 
um, the joystick reads it as like, you know, it's going to the left a little bit, but the actual output, so you can customize it any way to go forward. And yeah, I'm gonna give you a little bit of thoughts on uh, on this. So with the joystick, I was like, dude, let's just swap. And honestly, I am so glad I did because I feel like this isn't my usual setup, obviously, but um, I feel like, bro, like I can actually go quick, bro, and like move whatever direction you want. And like, that's the whole point of playing Fortnite. Overall, I would say totally worth it swap the joystick if you, uh, you know, you're playing build still in the year 2024, boys. Why wouldn't you, you know? I feel like the swap wasn't that hard. Like if you just look at my progression, over the course of, I, th I think for honestly, four or five days deep, you know, I was able to qual for the finals of a cash cup. Uh, I still felt a little weird under pressure here and there, but like, dude, four or five days making making finals of cash cup. Like, come on, boys. What, what more could you want? Like, if you're not boomed out like me, you're, you know, about to be pushing 30, you can probably get go to done like three days. Jump with Pinky. That was probably, you know, the weirdest part is learning to re jump with Pinky and just finding a setup that's comfortable because I'm gonna be real here, guys. Like if other joystickers, like they, th there's two options, okay? Either they've got like Victor Wimbanyama hands, you know what I'm saying? Like they got like them, them long fingers, you know? We, we ain't got hands like that, all right? You know, it is it is what it is, boys, okay? So I got normal man hands, okay? Out here, like the Wu-Ting like keyboard lip, like to know she pulled up a picture of the lip, bro. Who designed this thing, man? Wooting, what are you doing, dude? So I had to go through. I bought this keyboard case from Amazon, guys, for 30 bucks because I was a cheapskate. Guys, don't do that. There's even like a warning, apparently, that Hoskow showed me that's like, yo, your shit will blow up uh, if you do that. So now, and by the way, you can chalk the screws, bro. If I can find a picture in time for this video to go out, dude, I like stripped the screws. So now I just have like a, a Wooting installed in this bum case. So now I got a bum Wooting. It's over, bro. I have a second Wooting that I put in this Freebird 60 case. Anyway, so that made this more comfortable. And then I'm in freaking GMK, Max Stick. Everyone who's making these joysticks being like, yo, you guys got to figure this out, man. Where's the ergonomics? You know what I mean? And, the, you know, they're like, hey, try this, try this. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I was being mad annoying, guys. I'm not, I'm not going to even lie. Like, I was like a Karen over this joystick trying to get them to help me out but gmk did bro and and now it's it's really good um i don't know if he's gonna you know put it up on the website i'm hoping he does you know i think that's the only only place where i can make money in this video guys by the way is if you order like the gmk joystick or something like tell him no 72 hours send me man nah but for real um i could put like this amazon link too not affiliated i have no idea how to do that but um there's like a gel pad that i use that i found off amazon that's mad comfy and um would recommend and uh, a little trick, if you're thinking of swapping the joystick, like while you're waiting for this stuff to come, if you just want to practice, what I would do, right, is I would auto run like this, just just to practice, you know, just to just like, you know, 10, 15 minutes a day before you get your joystick, you want to practice, just auto run, dude, and then put your hands where it's supposed to be and like just practice. Like right now, I'm not doing any input. I'm just practicing by auto running, right? And like practice jumping and all this stuff. It's nice, man. So little, little tips and tricks here from Thomas Mulagan. But yeah, dude, overall, I would never, like, even when my wrist was hurting, I was still like, yeah, I'm playing on this joystick. Sorry, where were we? The other option, okay? Either they got giant hands, or like these guys, like, like, like they're like showmanship gamers, you know what I mean? Like, they they come in, you know, like, like they, they play for a couple hours. Guys, if you're out here trying to play, you know, like a full gaming sesh with the boys, you know, or like alone for like six plus hours, like, guys, I've, I've been... I've been on a quest right now to like make this stuff comfortable. The keyboard case thing, if you use a Wooting like I did, you might want to get a custom case, man. You might want to. I fought hard tooth and nail to get us a joystick that's ergonomic as well. So when your thumb's not exploding because you actually have an ergonomic setup, you know, thanks. Thanks to GMK. Thanks 72. I'm real, bro. Even if you're playing like no build, like dude, the joystick's the way, dude. Like this thing is, it's not even hard, man. And then if you don't even have builds, like you're just playing normally, bro, get in here, man. Cause yeah, to me, like this is just, I'll never go back, bro. Honestly, like this, this is the way. Um, and it didn't take me long to swap. It's so, like some people like are worried, you know, like it's gonna take a long time to swap. I think if you just use like a joystick instead of like the full Azeron, it's probably easier. Cause like you're still using your keyboard, bro. Um, you got any questions about the joystick or 
or if you're thinking about it, you know, I, I, I like talking about it. So like anytime you want to come ask me some questions about it, I'm down to talk about it. Um, I'll try to include some pictures that to know she can put in here so you guys can like really just check it out. Uh, the development of, of making this a possibility and to play on because I'm super pumped for Evan CS. This time around, I'll be in Dallas, Texas playing it for this one and I think the second qualifier as well. And then from there, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see where we're at, man. Um, Fortnite's been really fun. The new, new season for Rank's been really fun. Uh, and I'm sure part of it's with a joystick, man. Like, being able to go fast, right? Because like when you free up your movement, you don't think about going forward, right? Like, you just, you can just do everything while moving forward. You know what I mean? Like, no matter what button you're pressing, weapon, um, edit, like, everything's open. So, like, you can, like, just fully... Like, you just decide. Like you, like, you play how you want to play, not how you have to play. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can't pull up your shotgun while going left, well, then guess what? You got to, like, I don't know, be like a spider monkey and move your pinky over to your, your A key. And then, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to do that, bro. Yeah, I'm on a little bit of a break right now um, until the beginning of April. But, yeah, like I said, we'll be live on Noise and Twitch pretty much every day, dude. All the way through my, uh, my boomer birthday, where I turn 30 at the end of May. Um... Yeah, I just want to say also like thank you to everyone that watches these videos um, and watches the streams and, and cares about uh, what I do because that means a lot and I've been very grateful and very uh, privileged to do this for the past, you know, however long. And if you guys have any other questions or you want to say what up, join the Discord, at me on Twitter, stop by Noise or Twitch, or leave a YouTube comment. I usually do read them, to be honest, within like the first, if you comment within the first like, uh, week or so of the video, I, I, I'd probably read it. And then I'm sure like months down the line, um, if you've commented since then, I'll probably end up reading it one day too. I don't know if I'll reply. I feel like that's like BM, you know what I mean? Like if you leave a YouTube comment that's like mad long ago, and then I sit there and I reply, are you like, like why is bro reading the YouTube comments? Bro's listening to Marvin Room, reaching out reaching out to his, his ex videos at 3 a.m. Like what's bro doing? Anyway, I might do that. So, <laughs> yeah, where am I? All right, yo, reach out, man. All right, let me hit the triple edit for the boys. <gasps> boom, boom. All right, you're old, bro. It's over. Wrap it up. Also, before I go, I've been live on Noise and Twitch. So use my link on my Twitter if you need to sign up. It might be in the description down below. Noise.com slash 72HRS, N-O-I-C-E. And I'm live on Twitch as well. So if you watch till the end of the video, uh, comment down below, Nut Goblin. Yeah, that's it. Enjoy the videos, guys. Uh, this is just me talking to YouTube, you know, trying to make uh, some some content that I hope is more of myself and less of uh, YouTube personality. You know what I'm saying? So, like the video, leave a comment down below on what you want to see next. I hope that this update video uh, answers some questions.